In this question, laparotomy is performed in a four-year-old Caucasian girl with abdominal pain. Reveal a blind pouch. Hmm, a blind pouch connected to the ileum. Imagine this is our ileum and the blind pouch connected to it. The pouch is removed by microscopy. It demonstrates pancreatic acini in mucosa. The latter finding would, most, would be best described as which of the following. So what are we looking at? We're looking at Meckel's diverticulum. What is Meckel's diverticulum? Meckel's diverticulum is the complete obliteration of a duct between the yolk sac and the midgut. Initially, Meckel's diverticulum was called omphalomesenteric duct. And the omphalomesenteric duct was connecting the yolk sac to the midgut. So usually the yolk sac is outside, right? The, the yolk sac is going to be connected to the, to the, to the midgut inside of the body. And this duct, which is connecting the yolk sac to the, to the midgut of the fetus, is omphalomesenteric duct. Now this omphalomesenteric duct later on progresses to become the vitiline duct. Okay? But the persistence of the omphalomesenteric duct gives rise to the Meckel's diverticulum. Now what's interesting about Meckel's diverticulum is that the Meckel's diverticulum is going to have um, other types of tissues in it. Okay? It's going to have gastric tissue, it's going to have pancreatic tissue, and other tissues. Uh, present in the Meckel's diverticulum because this was supposed to completely obliterate. And the reason we're going to have pancreatic tissue and gastric tissue is because of its connection to the midgut. The connection of the yolk, yolk sac to the midgut, that's why the gut kind of develops outside of the body at the beginning and then they moves inwards, right? They, and they rotate and go inside the body. So that kind of presence of gastric and pancreatic tissue in the ileum through Michael's diverticulum should not be there. And when a tissue is normal, but it should not be there, those kind of tissue is called ectopic tissue, right? They're normal, but they should not be in that particular location. They're in the wrong spot doing their work, but they're in the wrong spot of the body. So that is ectopic tissue. So that's why, what kind of phenomena do we see here in Michael's diverticulum? It's gonna be ectopia. The latter finding would would be best described as which of the following? It's going to be ectopia. Now sometimes the Meckel's diverticulum is going to have gastric tissue and the gastric tissue can cause what? They release gastric uh, juice and gastric juices have the ability to ulcerate and they cause GI bleeding. As a result, sometimes Meckel's diverticulum can give the presentation of appendicitis because that area, the ileum area can get inflamed and it can give you the false idea of an appendicitis where it's just Meckel's diverticulum. 